So it'll be a San Diego State UConn final. Who you got, who you got, who you got? Sports Snippets, Dennis Sullivan here on a late night Sunday. Gotta spend a few minutes here with you tonight talking about this final four that was just played on Saturday night as we do prepare for the final men's college basketball game for all the marbles, as they say, as the San Diego State will be taking on mighty UConn for the championship game. Got to get started here. First want to get started with FAU losing a heartbreaker to San Diego State. By the way, before I get started, as I am getting started, go feel free to hit that thumbs up if you do like the content of this particular video. Also, the notification bell is good too if you want to be notified of future videos that I uh, put together. So, I'm going to say this. FAU had such a tremendous tournament, and, and so does San Diego State. I mean, they're going to the finals as a fifth seed. UConn going as a fourth seed. Those are two tremendous tournament uh, runs in their own right. But the FAU as a nine seed in the final four. Here is my bottom line feedback commentary on FAU. What got them there also would wind up taking them down at the end and would wind up catching up with them at the end. And what do I mean by that? This is a team, and I give them so much credit, so well coached, but this is a team that started, don't forget, let's not, let's not lose sight of this. They started four guards and a center. Four guards ranged anywhere from six feet to six four, if I'm not mistaken. Although Elijah Martin looks like, he, I guess he's 6'4", maybe 6'5". <clears throat> That's it, okay? This is a small team that played spacing half court with the most various motion offenses. I remember, I think it was like in the Sweet 16 round. They, they were doing this, uh, they'd pass it to the wing. And then the wing guy with the ball would almost do a handoff, set a screen, and then they'd get a wide open three. I mean, they, they, that was just a variation of what they were doing, but they executed it so well. They ran their offense so well in this tournament. But in the end, now I know you got uh, Golden, the starting center, he's a seven-footer, and Rosado, who comes off the bench for FAU. But in the end, they just weren't big enough when they had to be or when they ran up against a team as good as San Diego State, as well coached as San Diego State, that found almost like this loophole or they found this little gap that they could take advantage of and that was to crash those boards like we saw them do in that second half, mainly in the last 10, what, 10 minutes of the game. I mean, they had something like, what, seven, eight offensive rebounds. That, my friends, in my humble opinion, was the difference in this game. Now, of course, Lamont Butler is the hero with his 15-footer, no doubter. Took a beautiful shot. It was contested, but, I mean, this was the, the ball clearly went in. Beautiful shot by him. Give San Diego State the credit. I tell you what, you watch and you watch them play. I, I got to tell you, I didn't see much of San Diego State throughout the tournament. I watched a heck of a lot more FAU, heck of a lot more Miami, and a little bit more UConn. But San Diego State, I mean, they got these guys like these small forward, big guard type players, forward size type players that are big dudes like they, they they bring the muscle like I don't know if some of these guys are on the football the football team or what's going on but that is a uh, physically strong team is San Diego State they were led by Mr. Matt Bradley who would uh, finish the game with 21 points for San Diego State Elijah Martin was phenomenal for FAU. As a matter of fact, he was phenomenal in this tournament a handful of times, really throughout this tournament. You could put him in as like an all-tourney 
type of selection. Sonogo, though, for UConn, which I'll get to in a second, is probably going to be your tournament MVP should UConn win, and they are favored to win that game. But I'm telling you right now, guys, it was the San Diego State depth. They had, they're very deep. So is FAU. Both are deep teams. But the San Diego State muscle and grit underneath. Rosado played well for FAU. Golden had a pretty good tournament. Had a great game against uh, Kansas State. But it was just power by numbers, really, for San Diego State. They just had a little too much uh, physicality. We hear that word a lot, right? Physicality. FAU. In the other game, Hurricanes, I'm telling you, you know, my heart was with them, but I'm telling you guys, no, 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 no. This wasn't happening. If they played that game again next Saturday, probably the same result. Miami had a great run, Final Four appearance for the first time in history. Final four appearance, actually for three of the four teams, everyone but UConn, but Miami just, uh, yeah, I mean, they, they were making the comments of, uh, well, they're missing easy shots underneath. Miami had not, uh, did not see at all the type of resistance that they were getting inside from UConn, and that was your difference. UConn is more like a, they remind me of like a really good 90s team because and I say that because, I mean, you got two really big dudes. You got Sonogo's really good. They got this guy, number 32, coming off the bench. I think he's also, is he, he's got to be seven feet or something. Singen, number 32. He only played something like 13, 14 minutes, but he was impactful. He was altering shots. I think he had a block shot. He had something like six rebounds. And... UConn just too tough inside, too tough inside, and quick enough. I mean, they, they could play any really any style. Quick enough to hold the quickness of Miami in check, because that's how they would come back in these other games if needed, or pull out victories if needed. Very quick, very feisty, very scrappy. But they were clearly bothered by the interior defense of the University of Connecticut. These guys are really tough inside. I was very impressed with that. You know, I mean, good season for the Hurricanes, a lot to build on for next year, but it just was not meant to be against Connecticut. <laughs> that's, that's for sure. So here we go. So now we have a final. Should be interesting. You got a very scrappy San Diego State team against an extremely talented, can play really any style, doesn't seem to have a weakness, University of Connecticut team. If San Diego State could keep it close, of course anything could happen. Uh, I am definitely assuming that Connecticut, I didn't take the time today to check on the point, by how many points Connecticut is favored by, I'm sure they are favored. But it should be interesting. It should be interesting. San Diego State, I mean, they just kind of find a way, though. This team just finds a way very well coached. So it's going to be interesting, guys. I want to hear what you have to say about this. We'll see who the champion is when all said and done on Monday night. I'll probably get back to you later this week. We'll talk a little... Uh, championship game, a little San Diego State and uh, Connecticut. How does that sound? Talk to you soon. Bye for now.